John. One of the most infamous cases of a, um, a drug being introduced was uh, thalidomide. And thalidomide um, was, uh, was used for morning sickness during pregnancy, primarily in Germany, a little bit in, uh, uh, in the UK. Uh, and it was introduced in uh, Germany in the, f in the 50s, was used widely at least into the, the mid-60s. Um, and so um, it's estimated that somewhere between 7,000 and 10,000 children were born uh, with dramatic uh, malformation of, of limbs, uh, uh, so-called thalidomide babies. This is the difference between um, uh, the teratogen and the morning sickness drug. That one bond. As you remember, a, in three-dimensional space, a bold uh, bond is coming out toward, the, toward you in three-dimensional space, and a dash bond is going away from you in three-dimensional space. Merely the orientation of, the, uh, of that one bond means that this one does, um, does not fit into the DNA major groove, if you imagine the, the grooves of the double helix. And it's fine, it's a great drug for morning sickness. But here, because it can't fit into that groove, it brings about um, uh, genetic mutations, which, which make it act as a birth defect agent. Um, so, and when this was originally uh, produced, it was produced as um, what's called a racemic mixture, meaning that both are made at the same time in equal proportions.